Let's sing, Bob. Hooray for Hollywood. He's on, he's on. Yeah. You know who's joined the cast of Private Benjamin? Robert Mandan. There he is. Now, we know him most and love him most, of course, from S-O-A-P. Soap. I loved you, Chester Tate. Did you? I loved you in spite of all of the terrible things you yes. did to Jessica. I loved you. Thank you. Why Thank didn't that program last longer? It Were I uh, <laughs> an ABC television executive, I might be able to give you an answer. I don't know if I could give you the reason, but I might give you an answer. All right, give me an answer if you were... Well, I was told it wasn't making any money. Now, if I were, I don't know why. I really don't know why. I, I sort of personally have felt that had Silverman stayed on at ABC and not made his big move <laughs> through the dump, <laughs> uh, that uh, we might have had, we might have still be around uh, because he was responsible for the show a lot. I mean, he really was uh, promoting it and uh, supporting it in the beginning. And then we, we kind of got moved around a lot, you know. It's like we never had a primetime rerun. And a lot of shows find their audience in rerun season. You know, the, the yeah. people stick with the shows that they're loyal to, and then in rerun season, they say, well, I'll check that show out that people have been talking about. But with us, we were on the first season opposite Johnny Carson, the second season, I don't know, and the third season was called Find Us If You Can. <laughs> I came home one night at 1 o'clock in the morning, turned on the TV to see if there was some news or something, and the show was going on. Soap was going on, and they, they played two half hours back to back. And then they said, well, we're testing the theory that maybe it's, it could be an hour show because the cast was so enormous. There were 14 of us in the two families. And uh, then it just kind of, you know, we were top 10 show the first year, and we got moved. We were, then we were top 15 show, and then we got moved. And then the third year, we managed to stay in the top 20, and then we got moved. <laughs> And the fourth year, the just, bottom fell out. Yeah, it was nobody. Well, that's unfortunate because it was a jewel. I yeah. wondered if the moral majority had had some kind of effect because your characters were so strong yeah. and, and outrageous. I think a lot of people said the moral majority, but I, I just don't. It believe was just that. the ratings. The people. I I I, I, th I personally think it was just a kind of mismanagement, and the, the we were a target of the moral majority, but. Uh, so was Three's Company, and Three's Company is still on the air uh, because uh, it's economics, I guess. The Three's Company is still a top ten show, therefore they can charge a higher dollar for the time slot, and uh, it's making money. Mm -hmm. And I guess it really was the fact that we weren't making the kind of money they wanted to see. Because, because uh, the show played out of prime time in so many markets in the first two years that um, they just couldn't charge uh. top dollar for it. Well, I'm glad you're on CBS now and on Private Benjamin. I was back home on CBS. I used to, when I was doing soap operas, I, was, I hadn't been on CBS as a regular for a long time, so it's kind of coming home. Now you're going to wear a uniform and you're going to have to polish your shoes and have spit and polish. What kind of a character will you be? Well, uh, I did the last eight shows of last season, and we have a whole new writing and production staff, so uh, we're not quite sure exactly what direction it's going to be in. But... Uh, Colonel Fielding is a man who wants to be more than he is. He wants to be a general, and he's out in Fort Bradley, which is Fort nothing. You know, I mean, where is it? Uh, he could be out in the middle of the, of the boonies, for all he knows. And he, he's trying to balance running this thing with a lot of women. There are a lot of women there, you know. And that's true. Women don't belong in the army. You know? Seriously? No. no I mean, that's what he <laughs> No, I wonder what, I wonder what you're feeling. And what are your feelings about sending a woman to the front line in combat, hand-to-hand? -hand? Oh, no. 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 Hand-to-hand -hand combat with ladies is <laughs> bedroom. It's not for the front line. Come on. <laughs> Should they be flying the jets, though? That's okay, yeah. I don't know. I have a, I guess I'm not a, I don't feel like I'm a chauvinist because my wife is a very liberated lady, but I feel like sending a woman into combat is not a very male thing to do. I mean, if a woman really wants to go out there and fly a plane and you know, shoot down zeros or something. I'm dating myself. <laughs> the big war. <laughs> yes, yes. Nancy got a zero. She got another zero. <laughs> I know. I just don't see doing that somehow. Uh, well, you and Eileen Brennan, you know, with the way uh, she can mug. People. Oh, she's a wonderful actress, and Isn't I'm sure fun? you yeah. two together will. We had a great time last year. I'm yeah. really looking forward to yes. what they come up for us for this year. No.
Uh, we have to go. Oh, so soon? Uh, we've just, we've only just begun. Yeah. Same time. Life is a music cue, right? Next year. Okay. He's been, he's play. been playing, playing that with Jessica. He and yeah. Jessica. But just one, one last question. How could you, you have to age 25 years yeah. in, the, in that. How could you play the real young man? So, uh, the first guy that interviewed me in the town we played it in said to me, you think you're going to get away playing a 25-year-old? And uh, we had a lot of wigs and a lot of tape, you know. You <laughs> pull everything back and try to... It's fun. I mean, we didn't play it for serious. And, and yeah. they, but when I came out, I had, I had devised a hairpiece that t came all apart and revealed more of my own hair. And in the last scene, when I came out, I could hear all these titters and people saying, that's his real hair. That's the way it really looks. <laughs> Old. <laughs> well, Robert, you will always be Chester Tate oh, in my pleasure. in my memory. Yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful. You should be very proud of the, the yeah, we gem had a that wonderful you created. Time. And yeah. we'll look forward to seeing him now on Private Benjamin on yes. 10 Eleven Strong. Thank Maybe you. You'll grow to love Colonel Fielding. Oh, even oh, as you did I'm, Chester Tate. I'm certain. I'm certain. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We'll be back. 10 Eleven Morning continues.